It is one of the enduring tragedies of families who have lost loved ones during this pandemic. The loss of the opportunity to comfort and say goodbye. CBS 2's DeMarco Morgan shares the story of two L.A. cemeteries and a family from La Puente dealing with loss from a distance. This is not the way I wanted my dad to die. Alexis Neros of La Puente reflecting on a devastating loss. His father, Alfonso, a working man, a provider, died last week after a two week battle with COVID-19. As Alfonso lay in ICU, the only contact with family was virtual. It was excruciating. Well, not being able to be by his side, holding his hand. COVID-19 has not only changed how we live, but also how friends, family, and neighbors have died and are grieving. It's devastating to witness. It really is. At the iconic Hollywood Forever Cemetery, where so many Hollywood legends are laid to rest, the loneliness of recent burials is jarring. People are dying alone and they're grieving alone. Noel Berman is the cemetery's family counselor. My position here is to help people through the worst day of their life and literally handhold. But with newly installed plexiglass barriers. I can't hug the person. Yeah, this year is different. At historic Evergreen Cemetery and Crematorium in Boyle Heights, demand has skyrocketed. Arturo Nunez is assistant director of operations. I do everything. I uh, run administration, I, I process ashes, uh, and I help with the burials as well. He also keeps track of monthly numbers of cremations and burials. April last year, we had 250. But in April this year, we're at like 497 this is for, for the month. For whatever reason, it's just it's been heavy. Back at Hollywood Forever, an aspiring comedian who died of a heart attack is being laid to rest with a single yellow flower on his casket. Cemetery staff are standing in for the man's family, unable to fly in from his hometown. They can't be with loved ones at the funeral or burial, whether they've had COVID or not. As Alex Cisneros finalizes arrangements for his dad, there's one memory on replay. Monday through Friday, he'd get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and walk me to the bus stop in South Central Los Angeles. Son, I want to walk with you. I want to make sure you're okay. <sighs> Who's my dad? If sharing their final moments could help keep just one other family safe. My dad would have wanted that. Alfonso Cisneros contracted COVID-19 in a nursing home. Alex, by the way, is a frontline worker. He is a nurse for L.A. County MLK Outpatient Urgent Care.